Lucky number seven. Megan Limbaugh had a reason to celebrate during the pandemic. Her seventh child, Sarah Collins, was born in August 2020. This was actually the last picture that we have, that we took. We had a baptism earlier that day. At five and a half months old in early 2021, she died from sudden infant death syndrome. I wouldn't wish this on any other parent. Limbaugh is hopeful a new study out of Australia leads to promising results for infants and their parents. The study shows babies who died of SIDS had lower levels of a certain enzyme compared to those who died from other causes and living children. Researchers say that enzyme plays a role in a baby's arousal response, and a lower level of that enzyme makes children more vulnerable to SIDS. Doctors say more testing beyond the original study needs to happen, including in the U.S. Our real worry is that somebody's going to say, my child doesn't have the low enzyme, so it's safe to be dangerous, and it's not. Dr. Randall Alexander is the medical director of child abuse prevention at the Players Center for Child Health at Wolfson Children's Hospital. He says the study is a piece of the puzzle in helping to solve SIDS, but urges parents to practice the ABCs of safe sleep habits. Babies should always sleep alone on their backs and in a crib. The research we now have, we now know what it is but we still need to keep doing exactly what we were doing to keep our babies safe. Limbaugh, who read the study, wants to see more research on the causes of SIDS, not only for Sarah Collins, but for the other parents who have lost a child. I think it alleviates some of that pressure that many of us feel that this was our fault. Now we are posting a set of resources from the Players Health Center on our website, firstcoastnews.com, mainly reading materials for you. We will also have details including how the Limbaugh family hopes to honor their daughter and how you can help. We will also be posting a link to that complete study. Again, firstcoastnews.com and the First Coast News app. Live in the newsroom tonight, Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side.